look, you can see the, the sun coming out. Oh my goodness. And I've got to do a macro. Oh. <laughs> oh. So annoying. Good morning, this is amazing. Just walking up a little bit of an incline and today I'm mostly wearing cheap decathlon and little tops. So that's a nice extra fact for you. And uh, while I climb this incline, let me just kind of point out how beautiful and amazing this morning is. <sighs> so looking forward to this one. So, uh, yeah, welcome to the cliffs of, I have to get this right, because I get laughed at by my wife, the cliffs of mower. As in, I'm gonna run her over with the mower. Uh, apparently that's how you pronounce it. But as you can see, just absolutely stunning. Sun rises over this direction. If you've ever been here before, the visitor sent us down there somewhere, and then we got O'Brien's Tower, I think it's called. And yeah, just amazing. And then you can see Galway over in the distance. A few islands over this way. We've got the, I think it's Hag's Head Tower. Dingle is over that way. And we've got some beautiful mist and clouds and there's barely any wind. It is an absolutely stunning morning. And I've got a new toy and I want to try it out. Let's just hope it um, works. Yeah. Oh, I don't think it works. Oh, what is it? You could spend so much. I'm wasting so much time. Let's just fly it, see what video we can get. Oh, I've waited so long to get a drone and I finally do they bring the perfect one out one inch sensor small body it comes I pay my money I even pay for the fly more pack with the extra batteries it comes I open it up I fly it once it's okay I fly it twice and ever since then the gimbal just flaps around goes crazy so frustrating and I thought have one last hurrah before I send it back to DJI for repair or whatever it needs and normally with an IMU calibration I can it kind of short term fixes it and I can fly for like five minutes but won't even do it there so that is really frustrating but anyway I digress on this beautiful morning on the cliffs of Moa we are going to do the challenge. What is the challenge today? What could I potentially like? A panorama, a 10 stop ND filter to slow down the waves. Something like that would be nice, but as is the case, I'm going to spin the wheel. This app is so frustrating. Stop with the adverts, okay? Spin the wheel, see what happens. Hopefully it's something I can get a semi-decent picture with, okay. Spin, spin, spin the wheel, spin it all around. Macro. <laughs> Man, this is not the place I want to do a macro. This is not the place I want to do a macro. It is the most flipping sunrise. Most flipping sunrise, most nicest sunrise. Look, you can see the, the sun coming out. Oh my goodness. I've got to do a macro. Oh. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Okay, so I'm cheating, but I created this game, so I'm allowed. <laughs> There's no way I could do macro right this second with such 
beautiful scenery and sky and conditions. So there we go, that is um, me cheating, but you're allowed to cheat too. You're allowed to cheat too. I will do some macro a bit later on, but the sun's just rising. You can probably see it illuminating my face. Now, I've gone for a very traditional composition here. We have the rocks, we've got the tower, we've got the cliffs, we've got the, the, the very calm Atlantic Sea coming in and just slightly creating a bit of wash, you know, with the white bits and smashing up against the cliff. And uh, then some beautiful colours in the skies, the pastel colours that I love, pastel blue tones, the not so pastel uh, green and grey brown tones of the cliffs. Mmm, beautiful. And what I've done, put the six stop ND on, I've put a polarizer on just to help make the sky pop a bit and it uh, also reduces a bit of a ref reflection in the water there. And so 30 second timer, F10, ISO 50. from across the way just over there or well, not run a quick brisk walk because there's some beautiful mist sitting on the ground in between the valleys and that over here and then earlier the sun as it was rising was really lighting up the clouds above it it looked amazing but now I feel I've kind of missed it but let's see if we can get something oh so there's a nice composition got a bit of a fence going on to infinity and then let's have a look at the histogram turn it down a notch okay f10 300 mil iso 50 one tenth of a second mentioned it in last week's video but now this week I can travel anywhere anywhere in Ireland which is lovely I could also go to the barbers <laughs> which I'm in desperate need of I took advantage of one thing not not so quickly the other I've got a macro challenge to do I've been faffing around taking landscape pictures like you do but let's get into the nitty-gritty now the challenge just looking up what macro means we all have an idea that it means kind of just photographing small things. Macro, I believe, is when you're uh, looking on a, at a big picture kind of thing. You're, you're, you just, something is big, that is macro. As, uh, as in opposite to micro, which is tiny, macro, big. Macro, Merriam-Webster definition of macro. Large, on a large scale. Definition of macro, a single computer instruction that stands for a sequence of operations. Well. That is not what we're talking about. Definition of macro being large, thick, or exceptionally prominent. Now, that is not a definition I've ever heard of before, but there we go. Of or relating to a macro lens or to close-up photography. So that's traditionally what we think of with macro photography is getting in real, real close. What can I get close up or what can I make look bigger? That is the question. Let me talk you through what I'm visioning here. Now, it might be a bit of a crazy setup using a, a 400 mil zoom lens for macro photography, but all things are possible. Now, one thing I have with me that I use for wedding photography now again, are these cheap little macro rings, and basically they're like extension tubes that you can just clip on between the lens and the camera, and they just help it so that, um, they're not electronic, you have to use manual focus, but it means you can really like zoom up close to things. So it's a bit of a crazy setup, but you know, let's try some things. Now, what am I taking a picture of? Well, let's have a look. Along this lovely pathway here, which they've recently renovated, looks really, really good. 
fantastic. They put some new kind of slate barriers in. And on these slate barriers are some beautiful kind of curves and twists that have, I guess through the formation of slate have occurred. Beautiful like little curves, almost like worms running through the, uh, the slate. So that's what I'm taking a picture of. And now in particular, uh, this little bit here coming around interests me. There's a lot of different kind of versions of this, but this one kind of caught my eye. And what I've done, I've had to bring the camera level with this beautiful inscription <laughs> in the slate because um, with macro photography you've got such a thin depth of field and uh, I'm zoomed in at 400 mil the max of this lens and because of the extension tube I can still focus in super close on this little beautiful carving as it were so I've had to bring it level so I can manually focus and get the depth of field correct. With all lenses, apart from tilt shift lenses, which are an exception to the rule, your plane of field will be 90 degrees to your lens. So my plane of field is this here because it is 90 degrees to the lens. Now, if I had the lens up high and was shooting down and the plane of focus or plane of field or whatever it's called was 90 degrees, then it's gonna be angled to this bit of slate so only part of it would be in focus. There are ways around this you can do focus stacking where you take a picture of one part refocus take another picture refocus take another picture and then in Photoshop you can blend all them together but we're not going to do that here today I'm just taking a beautiful shot straight on let's not complicate things f11 ISO 50 we're 0.7 stops under and you can see on the histogram I could go bring it up a bit more it's interesting here because it's all gray we can see it just peaks in the middle it's all 50% gray it's neither too bright nor too dark ISO 50 f11 two seconds let's go Thank you for tuning in yet again for another week, another challenge, a new location, Cliffs and Moa. Remember, Moa, as in I'm gonna run a Oa with a Moa. Yeah, kind of cheated a bit this morning with the macro photography, but actually after all the excitement of taking pictures of the beautiful, amazing scenery here and the beautiful light and the beautiful, so much beauty. How could I not take a picture? Um, I'm not a madman. But anyway, after all that, and we focused on the macro photography, it actually, uh, you know, helps you to, again, yet again with a challenge. It's helped me look at a scene at a new angle, taking a f fresh eyes, fresh eyes on a subject, and um, actually look away from the big scenery, look at up close, and here we go. The beautiful slate that adorns along this route atop the cliff. So, there we go, beautiful. Macro photography is a massive genre in itself. I mean, I, in no way did I do it justice. That was just me trying something new and dribbling on. Oh, I assume they sell coffee at this thing. That'd be nice. You know what? Whenever I've been here, it's been so busy with people. But this morning, honestly, not a soul. Oh, this gate. It's not. I've got to put you down. It's a two man job. There we go. We've got the gate done. So, this week's challenge is to take a macro photo. Now, a lot of phones have a macro mode in them, so it'd be quite easy to really go get in there, get up close, be able to focus on flower. I mean, flowers are classic, aren't they? Insects, things like that. This week's hashtag is... So there we go. I'll try and use one uh, that hasn't been used by other people for, for some other purpose before, as I realised a bit late last week. Got to go send my drone back to DJI because I'd like to be able to, to use it. So annoying. But anyway, there we go. 
sailor vee, that's life, isn't it? I, I've literally had it not even a week. And every time I've flown it, that gimbal has given up. Nothing to do with me, Guff. Faulty product, Navigate. Yeah, join me, Raw Wednesdays, and we'll look at the pictures I took this morning. A more in-detail, in-depth look. And then also, uh, you'll see me edit them badly. I use Capture One, by the way. I know most people use Lightroom. Most of the skills are transferable. Join me with that. We'll also look at, not last week's, but the previous week's challenge results. And uh, if you do join in, it'd be nice to, in part of the description, just kind of write a little bit about why you took that photo and uh, perhaps how the challenge helps, maybe. I don't know. It'd be nice to have a bit more of a backstory, basically, with your picture. So, yeah, use the hashtag on Instagram and we'll have a look at, I believe, what is it? Shoot wide open, I think it will be, this Raw Wednesday. Thanks for watching the beautiful Cliffs of Mar and uh, a broken drone and macro photography at 400 mil and a beautiful sunrise. So a lot going on today. Remember to hashtag Raw Wednesday and this week's theme is macro. That's your challenge. Go for it, people. Bye.